Aha. Eks ka maa tihta nao. Eks aja. Nüüd ta maa näha kõik ta peab piht kui esse mõtsik. Ega on kõik aja kõik maa hea näk. Ega hau kahki ja kaab siis, et okki maa hau. Ta peab piht kui ta aad keske võikana. And now we will have the grand entry as each of the four chiefs or the representative designate dance in the uh, nation's flags. Se ka haugin, ma võitu, no iha agu ka piht kotaats koog keske võikana. Ja kui haugin kotaasik, tipa hamatoon, ka piht kotaat keske võikan, Jerry Saddleback Jr. Eks nüüd enda aasta? So we're welcoming uh, Jerry Saddleback Jr. in, in Treaty 6 and uh, marching in of the grand entry of the flag. Eks see kohu maaja aeg taskiina või kooma käänata, kes ihateeg ja kohava aja kaab siis, et okei maa võik tee ehab, et ja kohav oot tahoht enni käänab, et Bruce Hinkley, bringing in the Canadian flag. So we have uh, Bruce Hinkley uh, bringing in the uh, Canadian flag. Aha, või ka, ka nii kaana põtkis, no hamatu võna sai paga ka masta. Või ka ja kis no hamatu on kõik nii kaana põt, Dave Egan. And we have Minister Egan bringing in the Alberta flag. Või ka või ja, nii siim, kis põt nauki mao, või ka või ka põh tegata ol, kis põt nauki kis ka võikan. We have Chief Urban Bull bringing in the Louis Bull flag. Või ka või nii asku ja, 
And we have uh, Chief Maganao bringing in the Ermanskin flag. And uh, bringing in the uh, Samson flag is Mario Swampy, a uh, proxy for uh, Chief Vernon Saddleback. Leonard standing on the road. We have Chief Leonard standing on the road bringing in the flag for uh, Montana. Excellent. Uh, chiefs, Minister Egan. Hexagnana <laughs> We would like to extend our greetings to all our friends, our relatives and colleagues, invited guests, and everyone else who came to witness this historic event. We would especially like to welcome the representatives from the province who have graciously agreed to provide funding to MESC in the spirit of reconciliation. And now we would like to call Chief Craig Mackinaw to uh, extend his greetings and say a few words on behalf of the Ermanskin Cree Nation. Uh, it's a good day to have all of us here on notes for the signing with the province on this MESC agreement. I know it's been uh, in the works for the last few years with uh, um, the education boards of Muskogee. So Nanask one for all the staff that did all the work to get us here now and having everybody here at the table again in this signing. Because I know um, some of us weren't, in, weren't involved in the process, now we're just finishing it. So, you know, we're just happy to support and move on in you know, yeah, no, just you know, working for Awasak because that's who we're we're doing this for, for them and for the future. So I always look at that as what the goal here is, what we're doing here. So the Nask one for all the Okamak that are here, Iganak that are here, Kitek that are here, Tuskiak, everyone that's here, you know, because today is a good day for all of us here, and uh, so I just like to welcome all of you to Nasquak and have a good day here, and Minister Egan for here to do the signing and all the provincial reps that are here, staff, because without them too, we, this wouldn't be possible. So with that, Nanaskaman for having all of you here today with us. Hi, hi. Hi, hi, Chief Mackinac. Aha, I got Ganto Mao, Spatnao, Hukimao. I go on seeing Chief Irving Ball to be big squad ticket. And now we would like to call on Chief Irving Bull to extend his greetings and say a few words on behalf of the Louis Bull Cree Nation. Nanaskumun. <laughs> Nanaskumunum pekiska semine pe migosia. Nanaskum na gahkio e pe tagote ke pe si toska megoma. Nanaskum au ke te emno spogena hopenat. 
ka kisimut kui eskse puigoi ka mõni paig oma otsks nahmato nas kuma minugu kuma ka pe ta kohtetsik pe si tuskahkik minug kiuge vakman si hatak ja ei vage siis tata tumtu noski kes nahmato on ota kaagi pem paihta amma moi kian oigo ki no es ki no es nii stekta ni pean stahaya no ahu magenak no che wagenak kuisto magegwa kutagomga pem sahama Kiano, ki no es emam skutama, nii ganeog, kimaogu, jässuog, kohugatuske vinuog. Et uska hajahki, tõnga naga tšihtaatsik pugigoi. Ma ees pimp sahama. Nenas kumaog, ta tuske unuog. Ku eskse, Ei näga tšihtaatsik, oassa ja maamtu neimaatsik. Kõik ta ei siin imna oog. Peegu on niistanaan, ugi maaugu jässue oog. Ka võist ta maa kõu ja ahmaana, nii ka on etaapik. Näga tšihtaag, ma võiski kui tootameeg. Üks hekta ja hea ja tõneb peenaga tšihta ja ma ees ei maas naha mahki või. Ega kõik soo asem sõnog, ei taab ma ajahkik, ei maam tõneb ma ajahkik. Angi mind ma ees ka nii ta augitsik. Kiano ka pümpa ihta ja kiano ka kõik naha ma ajahk, ta on selnud teiseks naha ma ajahk. Ammagi nei hea võnnav, kõiks näha mu ajahkik. Kui eskse ka nüüd tohtahkik, ka piitskõitsik. Eks ote eniga on ka piitskõunav. Kaakki ei tahka asteu. Saatsa on nüüd ka käsi mustamaag. Peegu on näas kõik näha peeta kohteeg ükse. I guess uh, you notice that Irving has wore his headdress, but on his feet he's got desert boots <laughs> instead of moccasins. Pasteuski was masksina. He has extended his gratitude for having this occasion. It took a long time, over 20 years, to reach this uh, historic occasion where we have reconciliation with the government of Canada as well as with the province of Alberta. He has spent a lot of time on these grounds as a part of the residential school system, which is a dark chapter in the history of Canada. But he was able to survive and persevere and continue on and eventually be in the position of leadership. He's extended his gratitude for having this occasion and having the people to follow up on it and having the people who can take upon that work upon themselves. And he's confident in these people are very um, um, able to have the ability to do this work to negotiate and implement and start the uh, uh, the uh, local control of local education and having a lot of our culture and our language to be part of that uh, uh, education system not only the literacy and the numeracy but also the cultural traditions land-based learning and everything else that goes with it and with that he extends his gratitude to all of you for coming and witnessing and participating in this truly historic occasion yeah Akami Kokimao, Chief Leonard Standing Honor Road, the Pepeek Squad, Tigoyeg. 
And now we would like to call Chief Leonard standing on the road to extend his greetings and say a few words on behalf of the Monta Montana Cree Nation. Thanks. I see no great I like to uh, extend all the greetings to everybody and thank you for being here because this is a new venture for us and it's history making. <coughs> it's always uh, a satisfying uh, thought for me because uh, all the work that has been put in, all the people that were involved, my predecessors, this uh, process has been going on for a few years before I came in, and I'm just joining in. And uh, <clears throat> I'd like to thank all the board members, superintendent, all the educators that had worked together to make this possible, and the uh, province and the feds. Because uh, it took a lot of negotiation and convincing that we can control our own education and uh, bring our own uh, native curriculum. And that's the next process that has to happen, and it's a lot of work. These are just the preliminary stages uh, when it comes to reconciliation. We probably won't even be here to see the big changes, but you'll be in the history books for sure. So, but uh, I'd like to thank everybody for being here. I, I, I Saddleback. I Mario Swampy, And now we will call uh, Mario Swampy standing in for Chief Vernon Saddleback to uh, bring greetings and words on behalf of Samson Cree Nation. <clears throat> Well, we're going to work hard and give it 110%. <laughs> oh, sorry, I saw the cameras, the microphones. I thought this is my chance to have a sports interview. <laughs> no, Mio Kikse Paiao, Nanask Mokse Manto, Higuamanto, Gusan. I'm grateful. I'm just, it's been an honor for me to be part of this process. I'm the vice chair of MESC. I'm also a council member with the Samson Cree Nation. And I do bring greetings on behalf of Chief Vernon Saddleback. Um, I know Vern has become a really big supporter of MESC and what MESC is doing, and um, it, this is just an amazing experience for me to see, to be, I guess, part of the different processes, the different stages, the different steps as, as we've seen this come to fruition. And um, I think for us, when, when it comes to the uh, reconciliation, this is something we're looking forward to because in my mind, reconciliation is both sides of the equation acknowledging that something was wrong and both sides determining to do something about it. And so when there's that type of commitment, I believe there's an opportunity for success. And this is what we're, we're really hoping for to see within our schools. And as was mentioned, that our future generations would be the ones to reap the benefits. And so it's exciting to be a part of these things, but again, when the commitment is there and when the funding and the resources are giving to our community, this is where we're gonna see reconciliation in action. Because once the cameras are gone and once the microphones are put away, our community is still here. And, and we wanna be able to see all of our, our youth have the best opportunities they have to succeed and, and to accomplish the things that they set out to accomplish and all the hopes and dreams that we have for our youth. Because a healthy First Nation means a healthy province, means a healthy Canada, and we're all in this together. So I'm really excited and looking forward to that. Hi, hi. Mm. <laughs> 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 I'm 
Kapsi se toki maahan, eikä ole aja, David Egan, eikä ole niinkään aptoa maajaksi, no hamaa tokam, koska piipiksi koa tekoa. Now I'll call on the Honorable David Egan, Minister of Education for the Province of Alberta, to uh, come and offer his remor remarks on this occasion. Well, thank you, and thanks, Singh. And on behalf of the Government of Alberta and Premier Rachel Notley, I just want to acknowledge the significance of doing this here on traditional Treaty 6 land, and particularly in Muscochee's Cree peoples, each of uh, the four bands. Um, it's, it's something that I think we'll re all remember for the rest of our lives, which is a chance for us to build a stronger bond for the sake of our education of our young people here, and um, to set an example, I think, for the rest of the province. I remember when we were signing the letter of intent, intent a couple of years ago here in the same place. It was hot again, and there was a booming, booming thunderstorm on the horizon. And I chose to take that as a good sign, not as a sign of danger. And um, lo and behold, here we are two years later signing an historic an accord to make sure that we provide the best education for, for our students here. Uh, in each of the four bands and muskuchis uh, in general. You know, when we first started on this journey, I recognized that there was inequity between the funding for students on reserve and off reserve here in the province of Alberta, and indeed in other places in Canada too. And you know, those sort of basic injustices, inequalities, are what we are here to fix as adults, as responsible people here, uh, not just in our province, but across the country. And I believed fundamentally that regardless of where a student lives in the province of Alberta, they must receive the same level of funding and high quality education that any other student will receive here in the province. And so by signing agreements such as this today, we're another step closer to that sense of equality. And it will be benefiting students here, certainly, but will set an example for the rest of the province too. People will have their eyes on this agreement and to see the success for it. There's full of hope and optimism, but we have to set that good example too through a long-term commitment. My staff yesterday told me, just with now with Kitaskanao uh, and uh, Muskochis um, agreements, that a third of students on reserve now are under an education authority agreement. And I would like to see, potentially if people choose, to have that extended to other corners of the province too, all in the, in the name and the cause of providing equitable funding and education for all students in Alberta, regardless of where they live. So I want to thank everyone for this opportunity. I know that we can build curriculum and knowledge together. The things that you create here, the good examples that you set, I will try to take and take to other places in the province as well. I'm building curriculum as well, together uh, for new curriculum uh, in the province of Alberta. And I know that you can help us to ensure that we infuse that new curriculum for all uh, students in the province to ensure that they have an education and understanding about First Nations language and culture and uh, the history of residential schools, the reconciliation that we are all involved in here now and so forth. And so on behalf of the government of Alberta, I will pick up this pen today with a great sense of pride a very great sense of tradition. We're starting a new tradition here, and that's the tradition of equality, of justice, and to ensure that every student receives the very best education here in the province of Alberta. On behalf of Premier Rachel Notley, I thank you for this opportunity, and again, it's something that I'll remember for the rest of my life. Thank you.
Awe wa kan toma nana o ka ni ke ana pista ma ke to ta o ce wita skiu ne e wa hasin ska o si pieces e ko ta mi na maska ci sa ki te o e ko sin te po ata o Bruce Hinckley te pe pik ska te ko e Now we will have our MLA for the Watasquan Camrose area Mr. Bruce Hinckley to come and offer his remarks on this occasion Good morning, Tansi. If I could start with a brief prayer. Mio kisikau, nota winen, kisimanitu, nanaskamauen, kakiao, hi hi. Now, I always admire the chiefs how they are able to come to the mic and speak from their heart and not use their notes, but I'm going to ask if I can use my notes because if I don't, we will have to set up our teepees, our tents, and our trailers uh, for several days. <laughs> Because you give a mic to a politician and we like to stay here a long time. So I will, I will follow my notes. And I would like to begin by echoing Minister Egan's acknowledgement that we are gathered today on traditional Treaty 6 land, specifically the territory of Muscochis, acknowledging the Cree people of Ermanskin First Nation, Louis Bull First Nation, Montana First Nation, and Samson First Nation. It has been my honor and privilege to work at Muscochise College, Meskanak Kanipawit School, and here at Ermanskin many years ago. So I feel a real attachment, and I've seen the changes that are happening over the years. The, the number of students that are graduating, the quality of education, and the commitment on behalf of our provincial government to go to Cree culture education, the Cree culture curriculum. Really, really important. It, and really, as David and I will say, it's about time. I would also like to thank the chiefs and the elders and the community members who have put this event together. I was here two years ago, and it was an honor then, and I'm proud that we have come to fruition. I do want to mention, uh, at the back is Azure Johnson, and she is my constituent assistant. So if any time you have any questions or anything for me, please contact Azure. It is a pleasure to join you today for witnessing the signing of the Education Framework Agreement. I know the community has worked hard to get to this day, and that MESC has had extensive community consultations throughout the Muscochese area. To gather input from parents, students, community leaders, and elders for guidance on the direction to take with the establishment of a Cree-based school system in Muscochese. This work has led to an agreement with the federal government that has allowed for full education authority to be transferred to Muscochese. And now today, an agreement with the government of Alberta that will enable Muscochese and the province together to strengthen their relationship and work to continue providing the highest quality education possible for Muscochese youth. I'm looking forward to seeing how this relationship will grow and how the students in Muscochese will continue to thrive in the new Cree-based school system. Congratulations to everyone for their leadership, their insight, and for their passion for quality Cree education. Best wishes for many years of graduating students. Hi, hi. How exegahobat tamas nahamok helkum kat ye pehtake. And now we will have the signing of the agreement. Amagom ka mat masnaha ko teista peit sinamok. Egwaho maya, ego maya ka we te pehtak. Egwaya stamota ki masnaha makotak. We could no hot tahoche, maskochi, sick, skinohama to gangwa. A wita, a masnahamat ki chokimao, a guma, tapamitatsk, o tahuia, snohamato, and gakioks, snohamato, gangwa hota, neo tipahaskana, tata toski, te peitamok, the tipahiketske, guama, tapamitatsk, snohamato, gangwa. Marewa me no give. Nips maskochi winoak, a guaho cap sees a tokimau, a gunga masnaki, pitcho say some melgo, or makotaki to kimana coach. A guaya in toy sinuak, we stow out a te peitaki, the which a toskema chico cap sees a tokimau, a guneho aya, the which it does a chico maya, snahamato gumco, ectata pahquino xoniawa, tapa chihatic. 
Mui maga ui o au e ui kahke o e ui pa mihta atsik. O tstaup ko te ki tso ki maanak. Ka te paha mo ke guangs na hama to gam kum. Se wa tse ko e ki a sot te pege ko a sot ta maake on ka te paha maato. So, a little background while we're signing the agreement. Education Minister Egan traveled from Edmonton to join the formal signing. And I'm honored to, uh, he says, I'm honored to have been part of today's ceremony. I want to extend my congratulations to the four Musqueachies nations and look forward to building strong relationships with the four Musqueachies Cree nations to support the de development of this new Cree based school system that will benefit thousands of Musqueachie students. This agreement follows last month's signing of the Musqueachie's Education Schools Commission Resource and Development Agreement between the four Musqueachie nations for, and Canada's Ministry of Indigenous Services, which transferred full educational authority to Musqueachie's and secured a 10-year financial commitment from the federal government. However, the Musqueachie's Cree Government of Alberta Framework Agreement is distinct from the federal commitments as it sets out a separate nation-specific relationship with Alberta because educational authority and oversight of the First Nation schools have never been held under the provincial jurisdiction. And as a consequence, funding secur secured from Alberta is intended to enhance and not replace federal funding. How excellent the Mamis to know what to go, Kawi, Mamito Kikwe, Ekon Kokayo, Kimaka, and Kegoho Kaya, Kapsis Tokimaka Nika Napchik. We will now have the Mesk board come, oh, sorry, we'll now have the official photographs with their, oh. <laughs> I'm not a, I'm not a fluent speaker. <laughs> We'll now have the gift exchange between the four nation chiefs and the members of the Legislative Assembly. I want to call up Dallas and Sophie to make their uh, gift presentations. Mr. Reagan, please come up. Hi, hi. Thank you. Mr. Hinckley.
Anyone that would like to take pictures at this time, come and uh, arrange yourself, and then a little later we'll take another set with the board. Access, I just Nepo. Nepo. And now we'll get the uh, board members to please come and stand behind the signers. Well, now I ask uh, Superintendent, Mask Superintendent Brian Wildcat to uh, come and offer his closing remarks. Dr. Wow, I'm Scott now on to Demtik, to Namiki Skow, Pimatson, to Namiasen. Um, as superintendent, it's, uh, I've been involved in uh, many of the activities uh, leading up to MESC, and it's an honor for me uh, today to say some closing remarks. Uh, I'm going to say the closing remarks on behalf of the, the employees and the staff of uh, MESC, uh, the, the central office uh, team, my associate superintendents and directors, uh, as well as all the teachers and employees of the 11 schools in, the, in, in Muskegee's. We serve about 2,200 students and uh, we're very proud to do that. And as uh, the superintendent of the schools, I make a solemn commitment to the parents and the community that we will be working our hardest and give our, our uh, as uh, Mario said, 110%. Thank you very much. I'm just going to uh, acknowledge uh, uh, some thank yous here. And like Bruce, uh, I, I'm going to use some notes, otherwise I will be up here for too long as well. Um, I want to thank everyone that uh, made this agreement and signing ceremony possible, uh, especially the elder uh, Cecil uh, uh, Cryer, who <laughs> held the pipe up for us this morning and said the prayer in recognition of uh, this new partnership we are building uh, with the Alberta government. Uh, and also, uh, I think he also said a prayer for the people writing their uh, 
English uh, 30 diplomas this morning. So, uh, I also uh, would like to thank the drummers that uh, that uh, sang for us this morning, and also acknowledge and thank the chiefs for their leadership and their support and their their guidance on over this process. Also to the Muskogee's uh, council members who who um, followed and created uh, a, a very supportive atmosphere for us to do our work, and uh, to Minister David Egan and the Alberta education staff who over the last two years we've got to know and feel that we built a very strong partnership with that department, so I wanna thank them. Uh, there's too many to name. And uh, to Bruce Hinckley for his support as well. He's been uh, part of the ceremonies uh, every time we've had these events. And then also I uh, would like to acknowledge uh, this, uh, we're having a, br a brunch afterwards, uh, the work of Scott Hall in the kitchen, as head of our Universal Food Strategy Program, we'll be enjoying some of his food, as well as the, the staff and the principals of uh, Ermanskin uh, Junior Senior High School who are, who are very gracious in helping uh, host this event today. And of course to the parents and communities of Muskogee for their uh, unwavering support for this process. Uh, Bruce mentioned that we did a lot of consultation and we, we were able to achieve a unanimous support from the community for this activity. This agreement uh, will enhance and support and provide to MESC uh, resources to develop a new Muskogee's based curriculum that will include Cree language, culture, land-based learning, while improving student outcomes for literacy and numeracy and improved graduation rates. Uh, we just had our largest graduating class here on Monday where we had 34 students out of this school and also our largest uh, graduating numbers in all our Muskogee's High School this year. We had 61, so I'm very proud of that and the work that people do here. Yeah. This agreement also opens the door for Muskogee's to meet with, the Alberta, with Alberta education as equal partners to discuss ways to improve, to further improve education for Muskogee's youth. This agreement also uh, enables Alberta education and MESC to each benefit from a reciprocal exchange of knowledge, new learning during the curriculum development process. Uh, it, has, it has been mentioned on, uh, by everybody here we see and view this as a, a, um, an act of reconciliation by the Alberta government. So this, this agreement uh, represents an opportunity for the government of Alberta to express one form of reconciliation to the Muskogee Cree people through uh, assisting us in improving education. But in the end, this agreement is about the community. So the MESC Board uh, of Governors will be responsible for reporting to and connecting with the elected leadership, parents, students, community members, elders. And uh, we estimate that we will, we will be, our governance process will include 80 to 100 individuals uh, that will participate in what we're calling the Wakoton inspired governance uh, model uh, for our school board. This, uh, also with the community, we make a promise that MESC will utilize uh, indigenous knowledge philosophies to support and preserve and revitalize the Cree language, uh, culture, natural laws, and protocols with a focus on Wakoton, Nehiwawin, Neopamatso, and Neomamtanitskan. MESC is also dedicated to honoring and implementing our treaty right to education and will make Cree language and culture the foundation of all Muskogee schools. But in the end, this is agreement is about students, and it's about children. Um, so we have a, we're making a, com a commitment to quality education, to learning our history and having access resources for this to happen. MESC will focus on student success, student achievement, school performance and high quality education programming with the goal of meeting and ultimately exceeding pr the high provincial curriculum standards of Alberta education. MESC will also work towards developing more curriculum on treaty education, Muskogee's history, residential school history for all grades. Land-based learning uh, will become the primary learning strategy for all of Muskogee schools. The steps that Muskogee uh, and MESC have taken in the last few months has ensured that we'd be able to provide our students with programs they need to be both academically successful and deeply rooted in their Cree culture, language, and traditions in their treaty rights. 
there will be no student in Muscochise that will be left behind, and that we will ensure that every child in Muscochise will benefit from their treaty right to education. And like I said, it's been a very uh, a big honor and a pleasure for me to be part of this team and to work with uh, the associates and the directors and the staffs that, uh, in our schools. And I thank the Chiefs once again for their support and for the community for the overwhelming support they've given us on this activity. And I look forward to developing our partnership with Alberta Education. Hi, hi. My esoken kamus tamahats kumkamas naha, ke ka tantsia ja kiaga pihti kui eeg miigu aab, kui apah teena oan pihta pahkoana, ek tahan okini uab koni, ek tahimas naigateg. We're going to uh, have uh, an honor song from the drum group, but we wanted to point out to those who you haven't seen in the uh, tipi, there is a, uh, a banner in the back, like a frost liner with the Alberta rose painted on it. Exega on gamua can come with Tamao or Gohe, Excani Paunao. Honor song. We're having the honor song. Saya, 
kisitan hauk sego kaya. Oke ma hauk tawai wihta ko kisko ekana ekst kisitan hauk taho cha. We'll now have the four chiefs dance out the flags. Respective flags. Respective flags. As they're lining up here, I just want to mention that uh, Randy and I were supposed to co-host this, uh, alternating between Korean and English. But as you can see, we can, came dressed in Alberta formal, blue jeans and boots. <laughs> So Scott.